Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Moshokwa, currently behind the wheel of the Suzuki XL6. Hey, Suzuki's taking over, eh? All of the segments, every segment Suzuki's taking over. So yes, I'm driving a new Suzuki and I'm gonna tell you a little more about it. Oh, 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 also, how nice is my t-shirt? Hey, hey, I've always loved t-shirts with motoring brands themed around motoring. And this one is very cool. I was very happy to arrive on set this morning and I got this really cool t-shirt. So if you want one and to see what else the Sentimental Shop has, check out the link here. I've always wanted to do that. I don't know where the link's gonna be though. It could be here, could be here, could be there, somewhere on the screen. Yeah, get yourself some of these tees and see what else they got at the Sentimental Shop. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's get into the business of things now. Cars.coza. Whether you're an angel, a dictator, a space captain, a tree, or just Archie! If your car is stolen, we'll help you replace it. Who would steal Archie's car, man? With no drama. Budget, the official insurer of good South Africans. As you know, Suzuki is really taking over. And when I say taking over, I mean they're taking over. They've come out with a car that sort of looks like the Suzuki Ertiga, but it's not. This one is the XL6. It's got the world famous 1.5 liter four cylinder motor. And you know what? Suzuki does it right with this engine, man. They really do things right with this engine. I'll tell you why. Driving this car in manual, I can't find a more comfortable way to zip around Cape Town. I, I'm telling you, it's been a fantastic few days zooming around with this car because it's not a very quick car, but it's nippy, man. It gets me from point A to point B quite quickly. In fact, I was running a little late for the shoot this morning, but you know when you tell someone, oh, I'm running late, and I thought I'm gonna be a whole like 20 minutes late, but I was like seven minutes late. So. I like that nippiness about the car. I like the city driving. In fact, it's the car that appeals to the moms. It's the car that appeals to the Uber drivers who got to do those airport trips. For me, it appeals to me as a perfect run around car because of the extra seats. In fact, it's a six seater car, mini Ertiga, but I think it's a lot more stylish than an Ertiga in some way. So let me take you through the car. I did mention that I'm driving a manual version. I don't think I'll enjoy an automatic version simply because mm, those Suzuki automatic gearboxes are a bit sticky. So manual for me is the perfect way to enjoy this car. Currently cruising at 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers. Very economical in my opinion. And then you look at the finishing of the car. Yes, there's some plastic bits like on the dashboard and of course on the side panel and even here, but it's all electrics right round. I've got all my controls on my steering wheel, including my volume, my cruise control, and I could even set up my Apple CarPlay using the steering wheel, which is great. The finishing here, mm, it's a little questionable because there's the plastic here that looks like some tiles or some mezzanine flooring, whatever they call it. I'm not into interior decorating. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Not necessarily a fan of it, but it does look good. It's not appealing but it looks pretty decent. So I can't take credit away from Suzuki there. Now there is one thing that I have to give Suzuki the credit for on this car. I was so blown away when I saw this. Um, obviously when we get ready for the shoots, there's always something to drink or water or whatever. And director always makes sure, are you okay? You want something to drink, da 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 da. As he gives me the water, I put it down here and I've started the car. In the cup holders, the two cup holders, guys, believe it or not, there's cup holder cooling basically got the aircon on and i've got a bit of cooling on my water like guys that is so cool i remember many years ago driving a range rover and i was like you i've got a fridge in the range rover but look at this i'm in an xl6 and i've got cold water hello tyler <laughs> Okay, let's get into, as I get onto the highway, I gotta tell you the important things as well. Currently in fourth gear, pulling the car, 77 kilowatts. <laughs> hey, Chana, this car moves, Chana. Oh, yeah, so I, I do like that about the car. Um, 
when you need it to have a bit of power, especially in manual transmission, you get the power you need for sure. You get the power. It, it is a bit like, uh, <laughs> I don't know how you explain that. It's a bit like, it feels like I'm being, I'm pushing it, but it's not struggling. It just sounds like it's struggling at times when I'm going up the hill, but it's not, it's not struggling. It just sounds like it's struggling. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> So the important numbers that I have to get out the way is this. You are paying 336,000 Rand for a car like this. And here's what you get. You get a five year, 200,000 kilometer warranty, which I think is very good. And you get a four year, 60,000 kilometer service plan. Those numbers for a mom or a dad or somebody who's looking at getting a car to usher people around for airport runs, etc. They make a lot of sense because it gives you one important thing as a South African and that's peace of mind. And I like that about this car. I like that about Suzuki's offering in general. Now, to look at the competition in this segment of cars, I think one car that sticks out is definitely the Renault Triber. Yeah, the Renault Triber, that's the one. But you know what? I've driven both cars. Guess what? I think this one is the better one. I like how well this car is built. In fact, I just like what Suzuki's doing. I'm a fan, eh? Like, I like what they're doing. They're building no BS, quality cars to give you what you need. And for the next five years, you do not have to even worry a blink. You look after the car, the car will look after you. I feel like that every time I drive a Suzuki. And you know what? This car's pretty comfortable when you're driving it day to day. Specifically when we're going over the bumps nice and soft, the 15 inch alloys are adequate for the car, my seating position is also pretty cool. I'm sitting very high in the car, so I feel like I'm sitting at a place of authority. I feel like a bozanyana, you know? I don't feel like uh, other cars are going to take me lightly here on the road, you know? But overall, driving experience on this car is super solid. If you look at the safety features of this car as well, and this is what you get across the range of the XL6s. You get two front dual airbags, you get ABS with EBD, you get electronic stability control, and you know what? That's a damn good package at 326,000 Rand for the entry level car. You know what? I look at that and I actually think about the bigger model, the, 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 the GLX. That, that costs anything close to 351,000 Rand. But all you're getting extra things like leather seats and the leather steering wheel, you know what? Sometimes you don't even need those comforting things. I find myself like taking my hat off to Suzuki because they put together a good package, a very good package. And that's why a lot of people are looking at Suzuki, whether it's a Swift, whether it's a Ertiga, and even this XL6. I'm telling you, Suzuki is making waves. I mean, I saw the Fronks the other day. I didn't get to drive the Fronks, but I've seen it. And you know what? It makes sense. Hey, I can't, I can't even understand how many times I've said this car makes sense. It's because it makes sense. install from quick search to in-depth research do it all on our updated app so let me take you through the inside of this car in detail love the size of the steering wheel very easy to control and handle lots of buttons almost intimidating the first time you get in the car but when you know where everything is it's actually quite simple and i think it's set up pretty well the center part here also pretty straightforward it does have an armrest with a little bit of storage space in there two cup holders with cooling which i really like decent enough space to put your cell phone there could have been a wireless charger but i don't really know how much it costs to get that done uh, it's got a usb port here and it's got a 12 volt port this side 
easy controls when it comes to the aircon and of course the heater. What I don't like is the aircon control here sometimes makes you think that this is the control for the volume. The problem is on the infotainment system, the volume is a button. I don't like that because the buttons, it's going to get dirty. Kids are touching it. You're touching it. Uh, I'm OCD about those kind of things. So I really don't like that. Uh, very nice layout with the aircon vents here. In fact, I like how the lines are matching for an OCD person. And then of course, there's this plastic part mezzanine thing, which I don't know if I like, but the silver trimming actually encapsulates it pretty nicely. Okay, so let me take you through the infotainment system quickly. Um, easy on the controls, easy to move around, navigate through radio stations if you need to. Um, I like the fact that it's got the fuel economy here, 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers, your average speed, etc. You can check it out all there. Um, yeah, and you can do a lot of other vehicle controls here, of course, that go with the settings of the car, from locking and unlocking the door, and even the lighting on your feet. Wow, there's lighting on the feet. That's also very cool about that. I like that. Yeah, and that's essentially what the infotainment system offers. Oh yeah, cool thing that's worth mentioning. When you are in reverse, it's got a reverse camera, which is also quite clear. It doesn't look like an old Motorola. I mean, an old, uh, what's that? Uh, Blackberry. <laughs> it's actually very clear. It's, it doesn't look cheap. That's what I should be saying. So, I'm sitting in the back behind the driver's seat. This is where the captain seats are. Nice armrest here. Very comfortable, very spacious. This is my driving position. I like the fact that there's no seat here in between because it allows for you to also sit the way you want to sit, especially if you're driving um, on a long distance trip. I like this. The air vents sort of remind me of a Mercedes Benz V-Class, but you know, this is not V-Class. Uh, this car didn't go to private school, you know. <laughs> Continuing with storage here at the back. Um, I put my phone here at the back. There's a weird little slot that I put on there. I don't know. I don't know what it's there for, but at least it holds my phone. So it makes sense for me. There's another 12 volt outlet here. And then of course, the combination of the seating is also pretty cool. The idea of semi-leather, semi-cloth is a very cool combination. And of course, these are the only seats with Isofix. The back seats don't have Isofix. Nice and comfortable. I need to feel how comfortable it is with my seat belt. Okay, gets my thumbs up. Okay, so now I'm in the last row of the XL6 and I'm uncomfortable. In order for me to get comfortable here at the back, I'd have to maybe move this seat a little forward. How far forward? There we go. But now, the headrest needs to go up. Okay, and here we are. This is my position. This is when I'm comfortable, but it does compromise on the person sitting in front of me. So, to be honest, if you're over 10 years old, if you're a teenager, this is not for you. This place here at the back is not for you. Specifically because there's also just a 12 volt charger here. That's the only one there. There is a cup holder. Man, you know what? Yeah, this is 10 years old. 10 years old, you can sit comfortably here with no issues. The headrest here at the back, I mean, if I lift the headrest next to me, what's it like for the driver? The driver won't be able to see anything at the back. So, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to get involved about sitting at the back as an adult. I don't even want to talk about the... Ah, no, I don't even want to talk about the, the seat belt. We're done. We're done. I'm getting out of here. I'm uncomfortable. Move out the way, cameraman. I'm getting out. And now for the boot scene. <laughs> okay, this is what's going on in the boot. Parcel shelf here. Got a little more space at the bottom. Lack a place to actually put your laptop. Mm, there we go. Your jack and wheel spanner is located on this side. This is to drop the seat and easily pull it up if you need more space. This is such a small thing for me. I wish there was just a little bit of Velcro just so that this is not loose. It's just stuck in here. But I mean, that's just me being particular. Time for the cooler box test. One, two, Hey, you can comfortably put three in there. I'm gonna leave that there. So your spare wheel is located right here at the bottom. 
I have to be honest, I don't like that. And I don't like that specifically because I look at this car and I think au pair, I think my spouse, I think my sister or even my mother. If they're using this as the car to pick up the kids and take them to the mall and soccer, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to struggle to get to your spare wheel underneath here. The best thing is if you do own this car, if it was mine, I'd have the spare wheel laying here. I promise you, I'd rather compromise on boot space and have the spare wheel very easily accessible. And I think that wraps up my time in the XL6. What do I think? Overall good car. I like the offering. I like the price point of this car. If you're looking for a good car and you're looking for a car that is reliable, that won't leave you destitute on the side of the road, this is where you need to look. Suzuki's done extremely well in this segment because you know what? I'd use this as my daily run around car because it's also very undercover. As much as it looks like an Ertiga, people won't judge you in a car like this. You get to and from where you need to go with no issues. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all of those things. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Cars.coza. Are you busy trying to decide between two cars, three cars, four cars, five cars, six cars, and getting absolutely lost in all of the specs and all of the different pricing? Well, we have an excellent compare tool on our main website and in our app for you to use. It's very detailed, it's very slick and quick and efficient, and I highly recommend it. I use it all the time when I'm doing research for our car shoots. So check it out, we'll put the link in the description below, and tell us what you think. Tell us if it helped you out. Get insurance that pays out faster than the word Archie. Budget, the official insurer of good South Africans.